Hello everyone, I'm your chemistry teacher, Mrs. C. Williams Massey, and today we will be separating a mixture of table salt and iodine. Iodine is a member of group 7, and as you've already read in your textbook, iodine has a gray black color. So this is pure iodine right here, and remember that all group 7 elements are toxic. So we have this gray black color, it's a crystalline solid, and just to further give you more information I have the element bromine right here that's dissolving organic solvent and you've already read now that bromine has a red brown color so I just put it there so you can actually see what bromine looks like in real life going back to the experiment at hand we have a commercial table salt so of course it's sodium chloride but it has other um, additives in it so you just simply poured some of the sodium chloride in this boiling tube right here and we've added some particles of the iodine. So this table salt has been contaminated with iodine. How do we separate that? We're now going to separate it using heat. And when we heat this, we're going to separate it based on differences in melting point and boiling points. Contrary to popular belief, iodine does not sublime. If you look at the phase change diagram, you will see that it actually melts, forms um, moves from a solid to a liquid and then it vaporizes. When I'm heating it, you will see the differences now. You're gonna see this gray black solid that made the salt look yellow. You're going to see some vapors coming off it and you'll realize that closer to the bottom we have most of the iodine, it's gonna be very dense. So we'll now go into the prep room where the fume hood is and we'll do the separation there. We have to use a fume hood because all of the group seven members, they're toxic. So we cannot just heat this in the open lab. We have to use a fume hood. So we'll now take a break, light the bunsen burner in the fume hood, and then restart the video. Hi students, we're back. So we're now in the prep room and I have to turn on the fume hood. So you're going to hear the extractor to know that it's on. All right, safety first. Now to properly use a fume hood, we actually need to pull down the hood cover. But as you can see with the make of it, this one can't move. Don't know what these verses were thinking about. Anyways, so we're now going to heat this sodium chloride and iodine mixture. And after a while, you'll start to observe something pretty spectacular. Let me put a white background there. So you'll see the purple from that gray black solid. You're now going to see the purple fumes. And this means now that the iodine has melted and the liquid is vaporizing. So you'll see the fumes going up in the air because it's been extracted. I hope you're getting a pretty good look at it. Let me move the paper, I don't want it to catch on fire in here. Pretty cool, huh? Yes, that's why I love chemistry, it's awesome. So you'll see this process going on until all of the ID now has vaporized. switch my dominant hand is my right hand and my left hand is getting tired now so I'm going to switch the boiling tube you can see what's happening over here so we'll just completely heat it until most of the iodine vapors now they've left the mixture. So remember this separation is based on differences in melting point and also boiling point. So from this you can infer that the sodium chloride has a higher melting point and boiling point than the iodine which is why the iodine now has basically vaporized. So 
So we'll continue this extraction process or separation process really for a few more minutes until we no longer see purple vapor. And we can see the white sodium chloride crystals in the boiling tube. At this point, you can just simply like and subscribe if you're learning a lot from this. I think this is find the video interesting. Okay, go on. So you can see now that the boiling tube, the glass is now very clear. We don't have any purple fumes of iodine in even the mixture anymore. So we can see if they assume that most of the iodine, if not all, has separated from the sodium chloride mixture. So let's look and see what's going on. It is really awesome. So remember your learning sign so you can see what else I see. What we can do now is actually compare what's in the boiling tube with them the original um dissolved in the original packaging all right so it looks as if our extraction process i keep saying extraction really is a separation process it looks as if the separation is complete so we'll now turn off the bunsen burner Thank you so much for staying with us. That's it. Bye.